Okay, so um, let us discuss about the complex number and also the mathematical operations uh, for this video. Okay, so in general, right, when we write out the complex number in the form of, um, we can write it in the form of a plus y i, la, x plus y i, sorry. Okay, and we call it as uh, Cartesian form. Alright, so maybe I can write it here first. This one we call as Cartesian form. If you write it in terms of x plus y i, Cartesian form. Okay, and then you need to know that x and y are both real number. They are numbers that exist. That x and y can, should be the number that exists in the world, right? Okay, so for the part of x, uh, we call it as real part. And then for the y, we call it as imaginary part. Because y attached with the i, right? So we call this as imaginary part. So x will be the real part. So when you are having z equals to 2 plus 3i, when they write r e z means that the real part of z, it is equals to 2. And the imaginary part of z equals to 3. So all these are something very basic, like some very basic um, definition or knowledge that you should know about the complex number. Okay, so when you are having two complex numbers, we can only put it as equal sign if and only if the real parts are equal to the and the imaginary parts are equal. So we are not going to, or we actually not able to apply inequality in the complex number. All right, we actually cannot compare two complex number by using inequality greater or smaller than. It can be always equals to only. All right, because uh, since the complex number, it is something uh, imaginary, right? You have imaginary part. So it is very hard for us okay, to define which one is larger, which one is smaller. So usually we can't compare the uh, complex number by using inequality. Okay? So this is something basic that you need to know also. Uh. All right, so we talk about the addition and also subtraction. So for addition and subtraction, very, very easy. You just add real part with real part, imaginary part with imaginary part. You either add them together or you can minus each other. Okay, only focus on real with real, imaginary with imaginary. All right, and then for multiplication, Okay, so for multiplication, it is something like you need to multiply terms by terms. Alright, so like last time when you try to expand two bracket A plus B and then multiply with bracket C plus D, then generally you are doing term by terms, right? So the same thing happens for the multiplication of complex number. Okay, so next one is conjugate. So sometimes you'll see the word conjugate. So conjugate of complex number has a special symbol. If let's say you have a complex number z, then the conjugate of the complex number z will be z star. Okay, so if z is x plus yi, then the conjugate will be written as z star and that equals to x minus yi. So you can see that there's a change in the sign of the imaginary part. Okay, so that one we call as conjugate and it is standard one. So we are having a z star as a standard symbol for the conjugate of a complex number. All right, so it will be very useful later when we want to do the division. Okay, of a complex number, of the complex number. Okay, huh? all right. Then now, what is division? So division means one complex number divided by another complex number. La. And then when we are having the division for any complex number, right, you need to apply the rationalized denominator session. Okay, so this is what you need to know. La. All right. Okay, so I will take an example to discuss with all of you for all the basic uh, operation for complex number. Okay, then after that, you might... Uh, try out on your own by using some other example. Okay, so for me, I will start with example 3 first because example 3 actually cover all the important uh, operations. Okay, so here for example 3, you can see very clearly that it gives you two complex number. The first one is z1, another one is z2. Okay, so z1 is 6 minus 3i, z2 is 1 plus 2i and they want you to simplify all this. Okay, so let us start. All these are very basic, okay? So if you want to try out, you can pause the video and try out on your own first. Uh. 
So for me, this is the very first example about operation. So I will discuss it with you here. Okay, so now first question, they want you to add Z1 with Z2 together. So which is very easy. Z1 is three minus, uh, 6 minus 3i plus Z2 is 1 plus 2i, right? So very, very simple is you just add the real part with real part. Now, so the real part is 6 and 1. So 6 plus 1, you get a 7. Negative 3i plus 2i, you get negative i. So it is just a very normal type of mathematical operation only. Uh. So this is part one that we have. Okay, then now we go to part number two. Z2 minus Z1. So again, what is your Z2 here? So your Z2 is 1 plus 2i minus the Z1. So Z1 is 6 minus 3i. Okay, so you just need to be very careful. 1 minus 6, you get negative 5. Okay, 2 minus negative 3, 2 plus 3, so you get plus 5i. So it is like uh, kindergarten level maths. Ah. Alright, you add the real number together and then you just uh, group all the imaginary number together. Alright, so it, it can be very, very simple. Okay, then now we go to part number 3, multiplication. Okay, so for multiplication, Z1 multiply with Z2. Okay, so when you're having Z1 multiply with Z2, then you're having 6 minus 3i multiply with um, 1 plus 2i. Okay, so again, as what I mentioned uh, to you, <coughs> excuse me, you just need to um, expand it term by term. <coughs> Alright, so let us try. 6 multiply with 1, you get a 6. 6 multiply with this, you get 12i. Negative 3i multiply with i, you get negative 3i. Then this one, multiply with it, you have negative 6i squared. So you just uh, expand it term by terms. <coughs> okay? Alright, so once you expand everything already, then usually there's a part that you need to be very careful here. You will see that in your solution, you have something with i squared. Okay? And then uh, I mentioned it to you before, right? Usually, we will not keep our answer in the power of i. Okay? So that means you need to try to simplify this i squared. So what is this i squared here? It is actually equals to negative 1. Alright, so you can try to simplify everything. So you're having 6 plus 12 minus 3i, you get 9i. Eh? Okay? So negative 6 multiplied with negative 1, you have plus 6. Okay, because the i squared is negative 1. You have to simplify it further. Alright, so negative 6 multiplied with negative 1, then you get positive 6. So 6 plus 6, you have 12. So 12 plus 9i as your final answer. So your final answer is still in the complex number form with x plus yi pattern. Okay, so there's no such thing like i squared in your solution. So you have to simplify the i squared before you get the final answer. Alright, so this is a part that some of the students and they will do careless mistake very easily. So please make sure that you don't do any careless mistake here. Okay, alright. So I hope that you roughly have the idea how to do this. Okay, huh? so this is what we have for the multiplication. So this is the only part that you need to take extra caution. Try to simplify the i square and everything uh, correctly. This is a very, how to say, um, a part where students will do careless mistake very easily. All right. Okay, then now I continue to part number four. Okay, so for part number four, they want you to get Z1 divided by Z2. Okay, so again, what is Z1? So Z1 is 6 minus 3i divided by Z2. So Z2 will be 1 plus 2i. Okay, so uh, for your information, right, uh, in the future also, like, when you want to solve the question that involve complex number and your final answer cannot have the i in the denominator. Just like uh, previously, right, we talked about the answer that we get now. We don't want students or we don't want to have any third form in the denominator. So the same idea here. Okay, so they don't want to have any complex number at the denominator part. So what are they going to do is that you have to rationalize it. So how to rationalize it? You need to multiply the conjugate of the denominator. 
So as an example, this one is 1 plus 2i, right? So the conjugate will be 1 minus 2i. This one also 1 minus 2i. Alright, so you have to multiply this fraction now and we call it as the rationalized denominator. Okay, so after that, you need to again you know, expand everything slowly. Okay, and also don't uh, and also make sure that you don't do any careless mistake. Lah. Right, so 1 multiply with 1, you get a 1. Then 1 minus 2i, you get negative 2i. Then plus 2i. Okay, and then 2i. Multiply with negative 2i, you have negative 4i squared. Okay, so again, I'm having the i square here, which means that you need to try to simplify it later. Okay, then the, num the, the, the how to say, the answer on top. So you're having 6 minus 12i, okay, minus 3i, then plus 6i squared. So again, you need to simplify the i square here. Okay, so always remember what is the i square. The value of i square is negative 1. Negative 1. Then this one is negative 1 as well. Alright, okay. So now further simplify it. Okay, so at the bottom part, the denominator, uh, negative 2i plus 2i cancel off already. Lah. So you are having a plus 4 here, right? So plus 4 plus 1, you get a in total so you're having 1 plus 4 at the denominator and then on top you're having 6 minus 15 i then for this one you're having negative 6 all right so eventually when you try to simplify it you will have negative 15 i divided by 5 so what is it you have negative 3 i as your final answer after you simplify it all right so this process are uh, it is actually the division of complex numbers, uh, but we also call this whole process as a rationalizing denominator. Alright, so again, how to rationalize it? One more time, you need to mu uh, multiply the conjugate of the denominator. Alright, then you try to simplify everything. So your final answer shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't have any um, complex number at the denominator. Alright, so this is what you have for part number four. Okay. Alright, so if no problem, then continue continue to part number 5. So part number 5 is quite similar to part number 4. I will just uh, write it out here. Okay, so part number 5. Okay, so for part number 5, they want you to simplify 2z, uh, 2z2 over i. Okay, so if I write it out, I will have 2 multiply with 1 plus 2i, then divided by i. So again, I don't want to have the i as uh, at the denominator. Alright, so if let's say you're having i only as a denominator, then to rationalize it, it will be very simple. You just need to multiply back with i. Just want to make sure that in the bot uh, at the bottom part, uh, the denominator, there's no i only. Lah. So you multiply i and i. So I multiply with I, what do you have at the denominator here? You are having I squared, which is negative 1. Okay, then on top, 2I multiply with I, you get 2I. Then 2I multiply with 2I, you are having plus 4I squared. Again, you don't want to have the I squared as your answer, right? So what are you going to do is, you are having 2I minus 4 divided by negative 1 so you can rephrase it become negative 2i minus 4 and end up you have 4 minus 2i as your final answer okay so this is how we try to simplify all the complex number okay when you're having all the mathematical operation uh, addition uh, subtraction multiplication then division. So again, the division part will be slightly more complicated uh, because you need to carry out the rationalizing denominator process. Okay, so after we learn all the mathematical operation on the complex number already, then maybe we can try attempt uh, to apply all this in some example. Okay, so for example 2 and example 4, I, I will just guide you how to do it and then you try and apply the knowledge that you learned just now. Okay, it is quite simple actually and straightforward. Alright, so uh, here in example 2, they ask you to, without using a calculator, they want you to solve this equation. 
Okay, so because of the equation here, you see something with I, so you should know that it is a complex number equation. Okay, so um, W and W star. So W is a complex number. Lo. W star is the conjugate. Okay, so here you say W star denotes the complex conjugate of W. So give your answer in, in the form of uh, X plus Y I. So they actually want you to um, solve the equation. That means you need to find out the W and also the W star if you want. All right. Okay, so to solve this equation, generally, because you know that W is complex number. Ma. All right, so maybe for me, I will just make a simple definition first. I will let W equals to X plus YI. So X plus YI is a complex number. So which means uh, at the same time, you should know what is W star actually. So the W star should be x minus yi conjugate of a complex number all right so when you start with the equation 3w plus 2i w star it is equal to 17 plus 8i all right so w again is x plus yi plus 2i w star is x minus yi equals to 17 plus 8i so for the left hand side, I try to group all the real with real, all the imaginary with imaginary. So you can see that I try to expand everything first. Okay, so 2i minus yi become negative 2yi squared, so become plus 2y. Alright, so here I already skipped a step of simplifying the i squared. Alright, so I hope that you know how I get the 2y here, which is equal to 17 plus 8i. Alright, so I will try to group uh, all the terms without i together. So 3x plus 2y is the term without uh, is the terms without the i lah. Okay, and after that I'm having plus 2x plus 3y, then the bracket i equals to 17 plus 8i. Okay, so from the left hand side you can see very clearly. Lah. So for this one, there's no i. 3x plus 2y. This is the real part. And then this is the imaginary part. Okay, so one must group them separately already. Then what am I going to do is I want to solve for the value x and y, right? Okay, so very easy also. Uh, although it seems like here there's only one equation, but you can form two equations from here. First, you compare the real part on the left with the real part on the right. So this is the first equation that you can form which means that you are having 3x plus 2y, it is equal to 17. So this is the first equation. All right. And after that, you can compare the imaginary part with imaginary part. So which means you can compare this one with this. And you can form the second equation here. So as the second equation, so you should have 2x plus 3y equals to 8. So this is the second equation. All right. So now, the rest of the solving part, I will just leave it for you. Lah. Solve 1 and 2 simultaneously. Then you can get the value for x and y easily, right? Okay, so I'm not going to show you the detail here. Okay, so eventually you should get x equals to 7 and y equals to negative 2. Okay, so for me myself, right, because this equation now uh, you are having w and w star so that means all uh, my final answer i will write up in the form of w and w star so what is w so w should be 7 minus 2i this is your w and your w star will be 7 plus 2i so this is your complete answer here actually the question is not hard you know because you just need to use some small concept about the complex number x plus y i and then you compare the real with the real part imaginary with the imaginary part solve simultaneously then you can get the answer very easily all right so this is how we solve example two okay so you can see it is a partial question also all right so which means that it is not hard for you to get the answer if you look at this one the concept is very very simple all right okay then uh if no problem then we proceed to example four
Okay, so same thing happened for example for they give you a complex number u and u equals to something like this. So without using a calculator, they want you to express u in the form of x plus yi. That means they want you to expand everything, rationalize your fraction, okay, your complex number to get the final answer in x plus yi form. Okay, so uh, again, I'm not going to show you the detail. Alright, so you can start from what they give you first, u. So u equals to 1 plus 2i squared, then divided by 2 plus i. So first of all, the first step is you need to expand this. Lah. So expand the number, numerator. Okay. So after you expand already, then the second step you need to do is like, you need to rationalize. So you need to rationalize by multiplying 2 minus i. So this process we call it as rationalize. Ah. Okay, and then again, you try to simplify everything, both top and bottom. Then your final answer that get, ah, the final answer that you get ah, should be negative 2 over 5 plus 11 over 5 i. Okay, so I hope that you can get the answer here. Alright, so again, the process is not hard. You just need to expand the bracket carefully. Okay, don't do any careless mistake. And also, you try to rationalize the, the, the fraction. Okay, so that you don't have any complex number at the denominator. Alright, so eventually, your x plus y i form should be this. Huh? Negative 2 over 5 plus 11 over 5. Okay, so of course we still have more exam uh, for more questions to try out. Lah. You can you can try to figure out some tutorial question at the back later to make sure that you know all this first. Okay, before you go into a harder question. Right. 